Hey guys, it's Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. Um, something a bit different, actually, and this came out from Manchester Evening News, um, I think yesterday. And this is possibly the Manchester United 2021-22 leaked away kit. So I want to give a brief reaction to it. Um, so far, it's not that great. Although the Zebra kit, to be fair, um, did grow on me as I saw it in motion. So I don't really hate the Zebra kit as much as I did when I first reacted to it. But this is the away kit. The Zebra kit is actually our, um, our third kit. And obviously the blackish grey one is our away kit. This is actually our away kit for this following season. So we're going to see a lot more of this in the season. Maybe that's why I don't know the because I don't see it as often. So it's unique. But anyway, this is apparently what's been leaked out. Um, and, you know, if I can get them to be loaded, but... Anyone? Okay, well, this is the image anyway that's been leaked out anyway. This is the main image that's been leaked out. I can't... Look, uh, yeah, there we go. This is a better one, actually. Um, if you can all see that. But, I, I, you know, there has been obviously talk about the fact that... There's been talk about the fact that um, Chevrolet is not going to... We're going to be getting new sponsors. I might cover that in a video about a new sponsor for Manchester United. On that, That's going to be on that kit. Chevrolet is not going to be the sponsor of Manchester United for much longer. Um maybe part will lay way through next season but uh i don't know it just it just doesn't work you know the blue the white the diamonds um the chevrolet logo and then the red on it just doesn't work it just the colors just don't it doesn't work the colors don't work you know the tri i wouldn't even mind the triangles if it wasn't with a different color um Maybe, I don't know, maybe if this was, uh, I don't know, a navy colour possibly or another grey or I don't, just the, it's like, the, the up, the upside down, the upside and upside triangles and there's white and there's blue. Um, and even the background, and it, even as a background, it's not terrible, but the fact that you've got the Chevrolet logo with, with the red obviously text and then you've got the badges, the red as well, it just looks really just... The colors just don't really work together, in my opinion. Like it just doesn't look good. Um, this might grow on me. Um, it might, but it just doesn't look good. I, I, found, I, I dare I say I argue that the zebra kit is a lot better than this one, just because of the way the patterns work and the fact that the black and the white, <coughs> it just looked better. This it looks like um, it came off this, you know, two-year-old design. This, to be honest, um, ever since we moved to Adidas, who I thought would make brilliant kits, it's almost if we just hire someone straight from school to design one of the biggest clubs in the world football kits, and we just pay and we just accept it. You know, to the point that I don't even seem to buy a lot of these modern kits anymore. I'd rather just stay with the ones that are traditional, what have you, um, or training tops because they just look better. So, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed with this, if this is correct. Um, I expect a bit better, um, but we'll just see what happens. But, guys, let me know what you think about the kit down there. Um, is my critique justified? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, on X, smash the notification button. Here's the news. Have a nice day, everyone, and cheers.